At 6.10 p.m., a tip-off comes in via Twitter. Someone says they think they found a broken spindle bot, which is one of the new wieldy bosses. I'm at the grocery store and I get home at 7.30 p.m. The bot is gone, but we have a description. Monk robes, helm of Nate is not, Begora's chain mace, combat bracelet, so it's probably gonna be pretty easy to identify them. If there's a bot farm with Begora's chain maces that just started out and has bugs, we could make absolute bank. They have to be risking a decent amount because of the ether in their chain mace. I'm AFK eating a bowl of pasta while I'm outside of the cave entrance and this happens. A bot pops up on my screen and instantly enters the cave. I thought it logged out because again, my mouth was full of pasta and I wasn't paying attention, but there's the first sighting and some evidence there's a bot farm here. I hop a few more worlds and there's another. It doesn't tell you when I enter the cave, which is also a good sign. I'm expecting a new script with lots of bugs and not much anti-PKing ability, but as soon as I teleblock it, it exits the cave and is halfway across my mini map by the time I pop out. Yeah, so it escaped pretty easily. We have a username though. Here are the stats. It looks like kind of base stats for Fremenic Trials and Fremenic Isles and mediocre combat stats. Luckily, it's also super easy to check the worlds for bots. You can just enter the cave and then immediately hop worlds if there isn't a bot in there. And you log in right outside of the cave again. I found another quickly. This time it tellies. I'm skulled, so it definitely detects skulls. If they insta-telly when I'm entering the cave, there's no shot I'm gonna be able to teleblock them. I'm thinking the bot farm is brand new because they don't have any kill count. So I lose my skull, I find another, and it insta-tellies as well. So they have gear recognition too, potentially. It's probably my toxic staff at fault. Okay, so I unequip the staff, find another bot. It doesn't telly when I enter the cave. I teleblock the bot without the staff. It's an easy kill. And this one's stats are a bit lower than the level 90 bots I've seen so far. The loot is 400k. They also have a chaos talisman in their inventory, which is pretty weird. But it seems like this is basically the base loot of the bots, which is basically the highest I've seen. They risk at least 400k. And we'll get into how this bot farm breaks so we can exploit it right after this. There's a game kind of like RuneScape in the sense that sometimes I'll take breaks from it, but I keep coming back because it's such a classic fun game. And that game is Clash of Clans. I want a nostalgia trip, so I'm gonna start playing from scratch again. And early on, getting lots of resources and building a solid defense is key, so I'm gonna spend my gold and potion on upgrading a few buildings, then on training a few troops. Some melee ones and a few archers should do the trick. And I've spent most of my resources, so I'm gonna use the troops to attack another person's village. This one's base is pretty poorly defended, but they have lots of gold and potion to take, so let's raid the village. As long as I can destroy their cannons quickly, we're in the clear. We're basically full up on gold and potion after the raid, so I'm gonna reorganize my own base and make sure that doesn't happen to me by putting the cannon in the middle of the buildings, then also building an archery tower in the middle and spending as much as I can on building a wall around the outskirts. If you wanna revisit the game or download it for the first time, pause the video right now and support me by using the QR code on screen to download Clash of Clans. You can also use the link in the description. It's free to play. Big thanks to Clash of Clans for sponsoring the video. We're back and I've run into a pretty big problem. I'm unsculled, no PK gear equipped, and the bots are still teleporting from me. I think they recognize my name as an account that has killed them before, which means they insta telly from me. Also, by the way, the bot farm seems massive. I've only needed to hop one to two worlds until I run into another bot. Some even seem to be hacked accounts like this level 115. So I'm gonna use a bond to change my name just to make sure they really are identifying my account as a PKer. And that's definitely what's going on because now they don't telly. They also even teleport from an uncharged trident, which used to work on bots that had gear recognition, but I guess it's been updated. I even hopped on my main since I hadn't attacked one on there yet, and they have really good anti-PK mechanics. Instant prayer switching and a great escape route via the Chaos Altar. I chased one down all the way there, that's why they have the Chaos Talisman. I'm not in good gear, but the prayer switching and the route to the Chaos Altar means they have a pretty good escape. By the way, did you guys catch how I teleblocked that bot? It was just standing there, a little foreshadowing. So I hopped into another world into the spindle cave and I didn't log out in time. The spindle attacked me, so I exited the cave. And when I did, there was a bot just waiting there, probably peeking the cave entrance and waiting until I'd left. I'm not sure, but it wasn't entering and it wasn't teleporting for me. So I attacked it and killed it, another 437K loot. That gave me an idea. I obviously can't keep changing my name every time I wanna kill one of these bots. 
and they insta tell you in the cave it's basically impossible to catch them in there. But what if I just wait outside of the cave? I mean, there are like 40 plus of these bots hopping worlds. So if I'm quick enough, I can just teleblock them when they hop outside the cave. They appear for only one or two ticks though. While I'm waiting to do this though, I spot a bot running up to the cave. It has protect from magic on, but it doesn't insta tell you when it sees me. I get the teleblock off before it goes into the cave to kill Spindle, and it's an easy kill. 625k loot, it had a ton of ether on it. This camping method outside of the cave is starting to work too. I caught another bot hopping through worlds. It has a lot of food, but for some reason, it doesn't enter the cave and eventually just runs out of food and dies. One theory is that it doesn't have the 50k in the bank it needs to enter the cave. Five minutes later, it comes back re-geared without hopping worlds. The same thing happens, it doesn't enter the cave, but this time when it's low on food, it takes off running south. Eventually I do splash and it gets gap. Still from the first kill, another 430k, and then another loot key pops up in my inventory. The bot died to venom another 400k. So if I camp outside of the cave, I catch a bot hopping through worlds, I kill it. It's gonna keep coming back in the same world. If it gets away, it does hop worlds, but if it dies, it doesn't hop worlds. It takes them about five to six minutes to re-gear and come back. And at one point I had three bots coming back to me and dying over and over and over again. I had just enough time to kill each one of them before the next ran back, getting 400K every two minutes or so. I'm making well over 10 mil per hour. And if one gets away, that's fine. I just camp outside the cave anyway, and I can catch another one and trap it in this world in a few minutes. You can see in this clip, I think the script is just bugged. This bot had GP in its bank. It wasn't entering the cave for a while, and then all of a sudden it scrambled on in there. Still got it though. Absolute bank is being made. I I think I understand what's happening. The bots are programmed to peek the cave and then enter the cave if no one's in it. But even if they've already peeked the cave and it's empty and they get disrupted by combat, they are probably peeking again before trying to enter. So if the cave is empty, they're still peeking over and over again because they don't have time to both peek and enter. And if the cave has someone in it, the script doesn't know what to do because it's probably programmed to try to hop worlds. But eventually it runs away if it's low on food. Sometimes. I don't know, they're kind of inconsistent with eating food and running away. Just a theory, but that's my best guess. Needless to say, Absolute Bank was made. This is just a rough estimation of the loot that was made, but in about three hours, we made 26.5 million GP. And I started to get a little bored killing them over and over again, and I checked my tip off email. Tip-Off had just come in. Huge bot farm at RTO, another one of the new wilderness bosses. So I go to check it out. And it's even worse than the spindle bots. These accounts are in like 60% of the worlds I checked at RTO. They all have crossbows, necklaces of anguish, dehyde coifs, and black dehyde. And they actually didn't teleport from me until I killed one, which was 560k loot, by the way. But after that, they're all insta tellying and it's impossible to kill them in the cave. They seem to have very similar mechanics to the spindle bots in that they don't teleport when they're running to the cave, and if they're then teleblocked, they escape by running to the Chaos Altar. Unfortunately, there's way less distance to the Chaos Altar from RTO compared to Spindle, so these bots are getting away like 100% of the time. Their prayer switches are perfect. I even bought the new Void Waker old Karasi sword to try to spec them out since they pray melee against it, but its spec is mage based, but they can't full HP, so I couldn't even KO them. Actually, a PKer noticed me using the Void Waker on the bots and watched, I thought to cheer me on. But as we got close to the Chaos Altar, the PKer started to attack me trying to smite the Void Waker, which finally made me notice the Chaos Altar is in multi. The bots run directly into multi for at least like 15 tiles. I can't believe I didn't notice that earlier. So I geared up an alt account in the 90s combat in full DH, got it down to one HP sitting right on the border of multi. Now all I have to do is what I've been doing, but this time make sure to freeze the bots as soon as they run into multi. And it's an easy 400k. Another thing I found is these bots also have flaws in their script. If you teleblock them and then freeze them before they get within a few squares of RTO's cave, when they're running up from Ferox Enclave, they sometimes don't eat food. Not all the time, but sometimes. So if you catch them super early on and do enough DPS through their prayer, it's game, set, match. Unfortunately though, it's hard to do that much DPS before the freeze wears off. 
Also, if you're thinking of piling them in multi and you're as bad as I am at playing on two accounts at once and also just PKing, I'd recommend getting a friend to play on the other account so you don't literally die to a bot. I actually can't believe I'm posting this publicly, but I'm here to entertain you. Anyway, I reported 65 RDO and Spindle bots to the anti-cheating team and they told me the system picked up 117 of these bots, banning them along with 7.9 billion GP. That is a pretty massive bot farm, and unfortunately, it definitely shot quite a few Void Waker pieces into the game. A really strange tip-off came in. Bots at Twisted Banshees that auto-log when they see a player. Twisted Banshees are in the catacombs of Karen, and they definitely don't have the best drop table, so I doubt they're farming GP down there. And the first thing I noticed is these accounts do hop worlds incredibly quickly. They're also all in ranged gear safe spotting the Banshees, and their stats are kind of puzzling. In the level 60s woodcutting, 60 or 70-ish range, stats for Ava's accumulator, not sure what the 60 woodcutting is for. I collected about 10 names and I decided to track them on the high scores to see what they would become, because it, I don't think they're a Twisted Banshee farming bot farm. <laughs> Four days later, I'm recording a totally different video pretending to be a bot at Revenants, and an account with a familiar name logs in. Wait a minute. CDNA born, one of the Twisted Banshee bots. Looks like the bot farm's purpose is actually a Revenant bot farm, and they were just training at Twisted Banshees. But it gets weirder. 10 days since I first found them, six days after seeing one at Revenants, I looked them back up, and they have all sorts of strange stats that do not match being a Revenant bot. 60 prayer now, most of them have 80 magic, also most of them have 70 agility now as well. And the ending to this mystery is kind of perfect, given what this video has been about. I started seeing a few of these same bots from Twisted Banshees and then again from Revenants at RTO. Their stats line up too. This one in particular, Kara Nini, even has the pet from RTO. So I think they were probably meant to be Revenant bots, but when the Wildy bosses were released, they were repurposed for the new bot farms I've been catching in this video. To be honest, Maybe this is a sign I need to touch grass. The fact that I not only caught the same bots in a completely new location at Revenants after seeing them at Twisted Banshees, but also in a second new location at Ardeo. Anyway, mystery solved.